Hello, my name is Jay, and today I want to answer a big question. Does RAM speed make a difference in games? And by looking at the results on the testing and the things we've done today after bumping up RAM speeds up and down, um, I would arguably say that even on an Intel system, I checked some of the results, didn't go through and do everything, but I borrowed my brother's computer and a little bit of testing just on that same computer on an Intel uh, 8700K chipset and on the mostly on the 1800X Ryzen AMD 1800X and both significantly AMD a little bit more obviously because Infinity Fabric but it really does see that 10 to 15 FPS per up in speed now that's average and some games it really doesn't make a difference meanwhile like other games like Minecraft which obviously was a big surprise because Minecraft is obviously not really hardware oriented I actually saw a big noticeable difference when you actually cranked up the RAM speed um, even at you know max settings like the chunks and the render distance was actually heavily increased like you'd have a lot more FPS with uh, large render distance if you had higher speed by like 30 to 40 FPS so if you're sitting out there and you're going hey I want to get a system for just playing Minecraft you could easily get something like an AMD processor um, you know with an APU or whatever and have some really high speed RAM in there and you do really fine um, as for a couple of the other games um, it was pretty much across the board. We saw a lot of stuff like, I mean, it was average 10 to 15 FPS, and that's really important. If you're trying to get up to that 10 to 15 FPS for a 144 hertz monitor, things like that, that's probably your way to go. If you're, you know, you're trying to bump up a little bit more speed out of your system without having to, you know, pay for the, a new graphics card at this time and price. But, I mean, obviously, there's only so much RAM will do for you. It kind of really depends on, as I said, you know, the game you're trying to play. But, as I said, across the board in every single game, I tested PUBG. Fortnite, Minecraft, um, something similar to um, CSGO Black Squad. Um, I just tested a bunch of things and an Ark Survival, Hellion, um, Subnautica, things like that. And basically it just was pretty much the same consistent results across the board. So that leaves us at the point to say that it is most likely going to make, like obviously if you're getting something from like 2133 megahertz or 2000, you know, whatever that is, up to like something like 3200 megahertz, especially on a Ryzen system, you're going to see something like 30 to 40 FPS across the board, and that's a huge difference. And what I mean by also saying that is some systems may, you know, they may not support that high clock speed, so you may, you know, have RAM that is capable of doing so, you just haven't sat down and made sure that you have your updated BIOS and stuff, and that actually can make a huge difference in your RAM speeds and your game speeds as well, obviously RAM speeds, but your game speeds and how many FPS you get and also, you know, the render distance and the amount of stuff you can load. Because Minecraft is obviously kind of makes sense that, you know, the more render distance you have, the more stuff has to be loaded, so you have to access it quicker. But I still feel like, you know, if you got something like 4,000 megahertz RAM, which I only had 3,200 megahertz available to me, um, so I tested all up and down all there, I feel like that would have a much better impact on the games that are heavily render distance, you know, need a lot of, you know, things to load in and out for the render distance, like Minecraft, because Minecraft just has a lot of stuff. Now, obviously, for that game in particular, you're not going to see any noticeable difference in getting a nice graphics card. No point at all. So, that's why I made that point. I feel like it's something important to put out there. But um, I hope this video helps somebody if you're out there and you're thinking about getting yourself some RAM because I feel like RAM speeds are something may not necessarily be entirely worth it, but if you're doing AMD stuff and you're doing Ryzen systems, it just needs it high speed to make a big difference. And even on the Intel side, we saw somewhere around 7 to 5 FPS increase in each game as well with each taken speed. Not as much as AMD, but still a pretty good amount. So if you enjoyed this video, and uh, for all the time it took me to do testing and all this stuff, please give the video a thumbs up, and of course share it with your friends if they have the same question. And of course shout out my channel for other cool tech-related things. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.